Lisa Turtle was a beloved character on Saved by the Bell, and Lark Voorhees' portrayal of the fashionista catapulted her to fame right away. But since the show wrapped in 1992, she seems to have faded into obscurity. What really happened to Lisa Turtle from Saved by the Bell? Saved by the Bell was the opportunity of a lifetime for Lark Voorhees. According to her IMDb page, it was one of her earliest acting credits. As die-hard fans of Saved by the Bell know, the show started off as Good Morning Miss Bliss, which ran for 14 episodes from 1987 to 1989. Voorhees starred on the show as rich girl Lisa Turtle and remained part of the retooled version of the show Saved by the Bell. After Saved by the Bell wrapped in 1992, it seemed like Voorhees would have a bright career ahead of her. The actress landed dozens of roles after the show was over. She had a 28-episode arc on Days of Our Lives in 1993. The following year, she appeared in Saved by the Bell The College Years, Saved by the Bell Wedding in Las Vegas, and Saved by the Bell The New Class. She also made appearances in other shows and several movies. For the first few years of the 2000s, Voorhees was still getting steady acting work. From 2003 through 2007, though, there are no acting credits listed on her IMDb page, and her career has been pretty quiet since 2012 when she appeared in Little Creeps. In 2005, a few years after Voorhees had all but disappeared from the public eye, the National Enquirer reported that her absence was due to a drug problem. The tabloid reported that Voorhees had been hospitalized due to a cocaine addiction. Voorhees claimed the allegations were false and filed a lawsuit against the National Enquirer the following year. Voorhees included a letter from her doctor confirming that Voorhees did not have a drug problem and that she had never been hospitalized for abusing drugs. Voorhees later settled matters with the National Enquirer and dropped the lawsuit. Part of the reason that Lark Voorhees' life is shrouded in so much mystery is that, unlike many other celebs, she doesn't chat or post very much on social media. While she does have social media accounts, she posts very few updates about her personal life. This explains so much! While the social media pages provide a small peek into Voorhees' life, there's little information to be gained from her pages. It seems as if Voorhees wants to keep her fans updated while still remaining mostly concealed from the public eye. The fact that Lark Voorhees doesn't update her social media very often, plus all of the rumors that circulated about her over the years, has made this former actress especially prone to being the subject of internet hoaxes. In 2015, an Instagram account claiming to belong to Voorhees said the star had lupus. A representative quickly shut down the rumors, telling people, Lark has never been diagnosed with lupus. It's upsetting her that people are coming out about it. She doesn't want to be perceived as someone faking an illness. The hoax made Voorhees consider leaving social media altogether. Voorhees later created her own Instagram account, seemingly in an effort to squash the impersonators. Lark resurfaced in 2012 with a new look that worried her fans. On an appearance of The Yo Show, Voorhees was virtually unrecognizable with a new hairstyle and a thick layer of makeup. Voorhees not only looked completely different from her former self, but she also acted a bit erratically, causing further concerns about what was going on with the former child star. Looks aside, Voorhees addressed rumors that she'd been romantically involved with Mark Paul Gossler, saying, "'No, we were all that close. We just had a great chemistry and it registers very powerfully on screen.'" After Lark Voorhees' appearance on The Yo Show went viral, her mother responded to the concerns about the Saved by the Bell star's well-being. Some fans were concerned that drugs were to blame for Voorhees' appearance and erratic behavior. Their concern for the star only grew greater after a series of interviews with People featured Voorhees mumbling to herself and stopping several times mid-sentence to stare off in the distance. Voorhees' mother Trisha spoke to People, saying that her daughter was not doing drugs but that she had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. She explained, "...there are things that have traumatized her. I care deeply about my daughter and I want her to resume her life." Voorhees, however, denied the diagnosis and claimed her mother was simply overprotective. In 2015, the cast of Saved by the Bell was united on an epic episode of The Tonight Show. Jimmy Fallon brought together most of the show's biggest stars. Voorhees, however, was notably absent from the happy reunion, as was her fellow Saved by the Bell cast member, Dustin Diamond. Well, trust me, it wasn't in my daybook either. Voorhees' absence from the reunion led to speculation, with many fans wondering if it was true that Voorhees was battling mental illness. According to Voorhees' publicist, she simply did not have time. She told E! News, "...Lark would have loved to be part of the Jimmy Fallon skit, as she is a big fan of the show. However, due to an intense work schedule, she was not available." 
Even though it seems like many of the members of the Saved by the Bell cast have maintained a close relationship with each other over the years, it doesn't look like Lark Voorhees has close ties to the old gang. In 2019, she missed out on a second reunion with her castmates. According to Radar Online, most of the core cast of Saved by the Bell got together for dinner in Sherman Oaks, California. Mark Paul Gossler, Mario Lopez, Tiffany Thiessen, and Elizabeth Berkeley were all present at the dinner. Lark Voorhees was noticeably missing from the reunion, as was Dustin Diamond. While no explanation was given for Voorhees' absence, the fact that she wasn't at the gathering seems to suggest that, at the very least, her relationship could either be strained or simply non-existent between her and her former co-stars. While it doesn't seem like Lark Voorhees has been spending a lot of time with her former Saved by the Bell cast members over the years, she still seems to have a soft spot in her heart for the beloved show. During her notorious appearance on The Yo Show, Voorhees expressed interest in a reunion with the rest of the cast. The actress said, "...I really honestly believe if it did happen, it wouldn't be a bad thing." In 2017, Goss TV asked if she'd be interested in doing a reboot of Saved by the Bell. She said, "...I think so. I think at some point the world will call for it again and we'll all be there." As fans know, a Saved by the Bell reboot was released in November 2020, focusing on a new group of students at Bayside High. Elizabeth Berkley and Mario Lopez appear as series regulars, and other stars like Tiffany Thiessen have made appearances. In 2015, TMZ reported that Lark Voorhees had married music engineer Jimmy Green a year after meeting him on Facebook. The couple married in Las Vegas, Nevada, after having had a commitment ceremony earlier in the month. Voorhees told People, "...we have known it was meant to be for a while now and are so happy we found each other. I look forward to all the wonderful moments and memories we will create together." Not long after they married, though, People reported that there was a 2012 arrest warrant for Voorhees' husband in Arizona for disorderly conduct and threatening to intimidate. It was also reported that Voorhees' mother had filed a restraining order against her new son-in-law just four days after the wedding. Voorhees and Green's marriage was short-lived. By September 2015, the couple separated, and by October, Voorhees filed for divorce. Just because we haven't seen much of Lark Voorhees doesn't mean she isn't keeping herself busy. One of the many ways in which Voorhees stays busy is through writing. The actress has published three books, all of which are available to purchase on Amazon. One book is 2011's Trek of the Cheshire. Oddly, the book's description is littered with commas. The book about Voorhees' life is confusingly described on its Amazon page as a riveting acclaim into the ticker-time life of convexly celebrated Lark Voorhees, a sure-all themed computation centered square amidst the halls of renown. Voorhees also published True Light that same year. This book's description is also punctuated unusually and formatted in all capital letters. Her first book, 2010's Reciprocity, is the most conventional of all her books and is labeled as romantic erotica. Just in case there were any concerns among fans that Saved by the Bell still didn't hold a very special place in Lark Voorhees' heart, rest assured that she still has fond memories of the show. In 2018, she made it out to a Saved by the Bell event, a pop-up of The Max, the local diner where the kids of Saved by the Bell would often hang out after school. Saved by the Max's Instagram account posted a picture of Voorhees at the event. Voorhees' appearance at the event delighted the show's fans. Voorhees got dolled up for the special pop-up and brought along a pair of crutches in a nod to a memorable storyline on Saved by the Bell, in which Lisa put her crutches aside and danced with a sprained ankle in a dance competition. While she hasn't released many details of her life over the years, it's clear that Lark Voorhees hasn't had the easiest time. Fortunately, though, things seem to be turning around for the actress. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. All right. While it's unclear if she will be pushing forward in her acting career anytime soon, it appears that she is trying to inject some positivity in her life. Her social media posts have shown that Voorhees is filled with hope for the future. Voorhees doesn't usually reveal many personal details in her social media posts, but she does post plenty of pictures of herself along with positive captions. She wrote in a 2019 Instagram post, "'I hope your week is filled with happiness.'" A couple weeks later, she posted a picture of herself ballroom dancing with a partner, captioning the post with the hashtag self Care Saturday. While we may miss Lisa Turtle on our television screens, it's great that Lark Voorhees is working to take care of herself and live her best life. After years of speculation, Lark Voorhees finally opened up about her mental health on an episode of The Dr. Oz Show in February 2020. According to People, she had previously denied her mother's claims that she was living with bipolar disorder, but on Dr. Oz, she said that she had been diagnosed with schizoaffective thought disorder, a condition which, per the National Alliance on Mental Illness, is often misdiagnosed as bipolar disorder. Voorhees chalked up her previous concerning behavior to her condition, telling Dr. Oz, "...and that was..." A perfect example of what 
it does and how it behaves and what it creates about, around and about it. During her appearance on The Dr. Oz Show, Lark Voorhees said she felt, quote, a bit slighted and hurt that she wasn't invited to be part of the Saved by the Bell reunion as well as other cast events, although she admitted she understood what she described as her puzzling disorder could have been at the root of it. Voorhees was subsequently invited to reprise the role of Lisa Turtle on the Saved by the Bell reboot, guest starring in a season one episode. She credited Dr. Oz with being the turning point in her acting career, appearing in another episode of his show in December 2020 with an update. On this episode, Dr. Oz shared the letter of thanks she sent him. Voorhees wrote, I have you to thank for the wonderful exposure on your show that contributed to the SBTB producers rethinking my value to the production. It's always so good to be understood and be able to come home. Per Us Weekly, stills from season two appear to confirm that Voorhees will also be in future episodes of the Peacock series. Hopefully, more good things are in store for the talented actress. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health, please contact the Crisis Text Line by texting HOME to 741741. Call the National Alliance on Mental Illness Helpline at 1-800-950-NAMI-6264 or visit the National Institute of Mental Health website.